This one from Jammu and Kashmir, ladies and gentlemen. A massive search operation is now underway in the Naushera area of the Rajori district in Jammu and Kashmir. The operation was started after three suspects riding on a motorcycle did not stop at a police checkpoint. This comes just days after the twin terror attacks in Rajori, which have claimed six lives. That's the piece of break news that's coming in from Jammu and Kashmir. In the wake of those twin terror attacks in Rajori, those visuals on your, scre on your screen where search operations are currently underway after three suspects jumped a police checkpoint. I'm joined by my colleague Tejinder Singh Sodi on the broadcast to get the latest from Ground Zero. Tejinder, over to you. Uh, yes, Aishman, uh, you see right now a massive search operation is on by uh, the special operation group of the Jammu and Kashmir police, the Rajori police and the army. This uh, uh, search operation started after three suspects who were riding on a motorcycle uh, did not stop near a police checkpoint po at the Talka area in the Noshara sector, which is in the Rajori district. Uh, these uh, three motorcycle riders, they gave police a slip and after that, police along with the local residents, they chased them. However, uh, these three people, they left the motorcycle uh, at, uh, at one place and ran towards the jungle. Right now, a massive search operation is on. Though the police says that uh, people should not believe on so, uh, rumours, because some people are spreading rumor that these people were carrying weapons. Uh, police has clarified that these people were not carrying weapons, but they are suspects. So a massive search operation is on because police and other security agencies cannot take any chance given the fact that just three days ago there was a, there was a two a terror attacks in uh, the Dangri village of Rajori where the terrorists uh, killed around si uh, six people, including two children, Four were killed in the uh, terror uh, terrorist firing and two in the ID that was uh, planted by the terrorists in the house of one of the victims. So uh, the police is not taking any chance. So a massive search operation is underway right now in the entire area. The entire area has been cordoned off and uh, uh, the senior police officials and the senior uh, army officers are also on the spot uh, uh, helping uh, carrying out uh, the, uh, the, the search operation. Yes, Aishman. Tijinder, at the same time, because uh, this is coming just three days after those twin attacks where, as you are saying, six people were killed, including two children, uh, this, this terrain is also challenging when it comes to uh, conducting the search operations given the forests and the hilly areas. So uh, it's, it's going to be a daunting task for the security forces to track down uh, these three suspects to get to the bottom of the fact whether they were carrying weapons or not because the infiltration of terrorists is also a big problem that has creeped into the Rajori, Pir Panjal area as well. Indeed, Aishman, as you uh, rightly pointed out that uh, the terrain in this area is really tough. And the two terrorists who had carried out uh, the, that barbaric attack on uh, the Hindu community, the members of the Hindu community in the Dangri village, they are still at large. They haven't been spotted. So the security agencies cannot take a chance. Also, there are inputs with the security establishment that terrorists are planning to carry out more such attacks in the area. That is the reason that 18 companies of the paramilitary CRPF have been uh, rushed to Rajori and Punch so as to make sure that uh, the, the, there is no repeat of the Dangri village type of attack in the area. Given the fact that uh, these three suspects have run away into the thick forest area, it is a daunting task, as you rightly pointed out, for security agencies to find and to locate these people and to be uh, sure that the, either they are terrorists or they are locals who ran away from the police or they are criminals. So anything can be said only once uh, they are traced uh, the police has right now recovered the motorcycle on which uh, these uh, three were riding. Investigation is going on, but it is going to be a daunting task given the fact that the entire area is forested area and they have ran away into the thick forest area. The two terrorists who uh, carried out uh, the terror attack, twin terror attack of the Dangri village are also at large and uh, the security establishment have also the input that there are uh, many other groups of terrorists who are still roaming freely in the area. So they, this is a challenge for the security establishment to identify all those terrorists and neutralize them before they could carry out any uh, other terror attack like they did a couple of days ago. Yes, Aishman. Right. Thank you, Tejinder, for getting us that piece of breaking news. So that's also a point, for, a point of concern, ladies and gentlemen, that motorcycle on your screen was used by the three suspects to jump the checkpoint. Now they have fled 
those terrorists who were behind the attack three days ago, the twin attacks, one a firing attack, one an ID attack, they are still at large. So the problem of these terrorists hiding in the forested area of Rajori is still a point of concern, but the security forces are on high alert and the search operations are still underway. They, it'll go throughout the night as well as tomorrow to track down these suspects. We'll continue to track all the developments which are coming, but let's shift focus now to Uttarakhand.